what's going on y'all welcome back to another episode of better call saw now before we get into it make sure you guys look at the links down below if you want early access to these reactions go and click that join button if you want full reactions hit up my patreon if you want to check out my live streams uh right now i'm playing god of war it's fucking sick go ahead and give my, give my twitch channel a follow and last but not least you can find a link to my discord server as well down there go ahead and click that shit and come join our little community okay so uh last episode on better call saw what happened? What happened? So Nacho, we know Nacho's plan. Nacho wants to uh, manipulate the pills that Hector takes when he's like, you know, struggling or coughing or whatever. And he wants to replace them with pills that are going to kill him <laughs> uh, or at least put him out of commission. Right. Um, because Hector wants to use Nacho's dad's upholstery shop as another front for his drug selling business. And, um, you know, Nacho may may be on the on, on the wrong side of the law, but he definitely wants to keep his family as far away from the business as possible, right? And Hector is pretty much forcing it upon him. He's like, "Yeah, you will do it. You will teach him, no problem." But um, yeah, this is obviously really bad. So Nacho's retaliation is pretty much we're we're gonna take out Hector. So I mean, shit. This whole time, the the, the Salamanca's enemy was not only Gus or Walt or Jesse. It was also a guy named Nacho back in the day, because Nacho really doesn't, doesn't fuck with these guys. He works for them. Because he's making good money, but he clearly doesn't fuck with them. He wants to take out another one, right? So we got that going on. Um, and they, they show Jimmy too. So Jimmy, I mean, not only is Chuck, um, obviously Chuck is, is not having a good time right now. He's been exposed. He's self-realization, mentally ill, right? He's not having a good time. But Jimmy also isn't having a good time. I mean, that, that him being disbarred, him not having his lawyer license, he can't make any money. Right, uh, his 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 Sagama commercial is, isn't doing well. He he he's he's putting out putting in hours and not getting any results. Like he's actually rock bottom too. You know what I mean? Um, and I like Kim's sentiment of her saying, you know, maybe it was like like all we really did is tear down a sick man. I mean, when she said that, I was like, damn, that kind of hurts. Cause it's true, they did. He was sick, um, but we we know that you know the things that Chuck has done to Jimmy keeping him down not letting him you know fucking evolve or blossom his career and that's pretty fucked up too right um but but what we did in response isn't much better so we we, we basically stooped down to that level uh, uh of what chuck did so maybe even worse because he's he's already sick you know what i'm saying so i did feel bad for him obviously i'm always gonna feel bad for him because he's sick but that doesn't give him any, any any right to you know treat jimmy like that obviously um, but speaking of that, I don't know what Jimmy did. Jimmy, I don't know what Jimmy did at the, at the end of the episode, but he was like smiling evilly. So I don't know what, I, I, I mean, it is one of the rules as being a lawyer. Like you're not allowed to, uh, have like an emotionally charged response in the courtroom or something, or display some type of that, because that's what he said to the girl and the girl wrote that down. So now is Chuck going to be like, is there, are they going to remove his license too? I don't know, Jimmy. If that's what Jimmy just did, uh, I don't know if I fuck with that. Cause I mean, he's already down. He's already he already did his due. He already did his job. Like, why even more? Just to make himself feel better. If that's so, then that's not cool. That's straight up not cool. So, but we don't know what happened. So, let's get into it anyway. This is motherfucking Better Call Saul, season three, episode eight. Like and subscribe. What the fuck? All right. <clears throat> No, 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 uh, boom, Indian head penny, all right, that's worth about three bucks. He had a stash of strange the coins, <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> slipping Jimmy. Soft touch, you know, every deadbeat in the neighborhood owed him money, you come in here with a sob story, you leave with a pat on the back and a gallon of milk, he, he could have made it work. He could have sold beer and cigarettes to the kids from Mary Margaret's, but <laughs> oh no, not him. He's never gonna Damn. do what he had to do. So Jimmy's dad was was a, was a straight edge, pretty much, like a good good dude, and Jimmy like literally is the opposite of that. <laughs> He's straight up con artist. What you looking for, Mike? He's not just out here looking for some fucking pennies. No, no, he's looking for something, something. 
What? Who is that? Yeah, tribal police. Yeah, I was out on your property this afternoon. I found a dead body. What the fuck? Off the old post road. Is that the guy that Hector offed? Who who got his truck jacked? Your next steps. Well, clearly with this kind of improvement. It won't be long before I'm back to work full time with no accommodations. And then soon after, I want to get back into court. I haven't argued a case in almost three years. So that's next. And I want to get these lights turned back on. I respect how he's trying. He, 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 instead of, you know, getting depressed over his actual mental illness. He's trying, dude. He's trying to break out of it. I, I respect that. I do. He called the doctor and everything. Is this character development? <laughs> or is this another one of Chuck's ruses? Who knows at this point? But I want to believe it's it's him actually developing. But what if it's not? What if it's all in my head? And if that's true, if it's not real, then what have I done? Jesus. Here, here we go. The roller, co the truck roller coaster again. Now we're back to feeling bad for him. I mean, I, I felt bad for him this whole time, but damn, bro. I'm telling you, there ain't nothing like self-realization. That shit kicks you in the ass. And intellectual property of Saul Goodman Productions. I don't think so. I mean, it's our faces. It's our store. And it's my commercial. And you can't run it without my permission. Oh, okay, okay. Want to play it like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Four hundred fifty dollars <laughs> is now off the table. Yeah, and that crew of yours? Yeah, just a bunch of UNM students. Ah, oh, come on, guys. He gave him. He gave them one free commercial. They can give him one. They can give him at least one. They could pay for one, right? Pay for a new one, at least. That's why I don't do business, man. Everyone's a bunch of sharks. It was a drumstick. It was laying loose in the aisle. Somebody call me. Slipping, Jimmy. No, you don't need to. I don't need. <laughs> that was a good fucking oh, fall, too. That was believable. <laughs> also, those guys are kind of like twins, right? Kind of reminds me of the other twins that we saw at uh, the beginning of the series when they tried to, you know, pull one over Jimmy. Thank you. All's well with the expansion? I saw you got that branch approved on your original timeline after all. We did. Thanks to Ms. Wexler here. <laughs> well, Kim's one of the best. You're lucky to have her. She sure is. We sure are. Seems like just yesterday she was logging hours in doc review. <laughs> Always a pleasure to see one of our protégés spread her wings and leave the nest. Why? Why, Howard? I started to like you. Why with the petty comments and, and, con and, and condole condolescent? What's the word I'm looking for? You guys know what I'm looking for. What's up with that? <laughs> Condolescing? No. Condescend condescending. Hey, I found it. What's up with the condescending attitude? Why? God damn it, Howard. <laughs> Folks, this is Kim Wexler, a former member of our firm. Kim, uh, this is the team from O'Malley Industries. Oh, of course. I remember Lauren. Good to see you again, Kim. This is Jack Sweet, our new CFO. Oh, hello. Pleasure. Nice to see you too, Henry. Nick. Murray Austin. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to see all of you. Have a wonderful... That was her loans. She paid it off. Now he can leave her the fuck alone. <laughs> Once I understand what's going on, I'll put him together with a firm that'll take very good care of him. I leave it in your capable hands. Great. Okay, Utah. The good news is the filing requirements are very similar to what we submitted for Arizona. Oh, good. Thanks again, Kim. I'll let Billy know you'll be calling and we'll talk tea time soon. Sounds good. All right. See you soon, Kim. Bye. Eventually, Kim's gonna need a few associates of her own, right? I mean, she's she's taken off Mesa Verde. Now this now some more states are going to be involved. She's going to need some employees for real. To through law school, mentor you, and then when you leave and stab me in the back, that's my fault. I'm not cashing this. <laughs> oh Kim, no, drama. Your debt is forgiven, but anything else, that's on you. All Jimmy and I did was show the situation for what it is, and if you are hiding that from your clients, well, Howard, that's on you. Kim does feel bad though. We all feel bad. What we did to Chuck was maybe a bit over the line. Maybe. Just a bit. Just a tad. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Someone had to say it.
So he's crushing up a bunch of ibuprofens and putting it in the capsules. Is that going to do anything? Ibuprofens are just anti-headache things, right? For, an for pain relief? Okay. A little sleight of hand. Okay, Nacho. So he's practicing. No, we can't toss it in there. We need accuracy. He needs to find a reason to like, you know, like tie his shoes or something like that. Black Matt. You got this, Chuck. Come on, bub. I feel like... I mean, th this is th we're, we're training him. So this, this is good. He's trying to get used to the normal environment again. But I feel like what's better, what, what what would better cure him is to how this originated. What is the origin of this electromagnetic hypersensitivity? You know, that because once we find that out, we can fucking nip it in the bud. The white ceiling, green basket, gray floor. Damn. Hope he'll be okay. He's trying though, man. He's fucking trying. I'm rooting for him. When did this happen? Yesterday. I saw you yesterday. You were fine. Uh, that was Tuesday. You picked up clean clothes, remember? Did you go to the doctor? Oh, it's it's not as bad as it looks. I just need to rest it. It'll be fine. The fall was pretty heavy, you know, even if he was acting, that that's that he took a fall. Like he hit his fucking collarbone or some shit. Or not collarbone, tailbone? Chuck. Who was the oh, colleague? Was it Jimmy? Nice surprise. I knocked but there was the no hell answer. Was that? I thought you were asleep. I figured I'd wait in case. Are those groceries? They are. I decided to go for the little walk. That's great, Chuck. Let's go in. Thank you. What do I owe the pleasure? Is it me or, or is there something wrong with Howard's smile? It just seems so... You know? <laughs> it just seems a little crooked. <laughs> I'm, I'm just stupid. Oh, he fucked around with the... um. AC, so it forces Hector to take it off his jacket. Oh, okay, okay. She is a fake. No, he's the not. other pocket. Oh, this is so tense. <clears throat> Dude, I'm so scared for him. Okay. Okay. So we've taken the pills, but we haven't replaced it. Was, was he, 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 the, he's supposed to do it in one motion. Oh, God. Dude, he's doing it right in front of him. This is so scary. He's hella shaking. <laughs> Yo, I'll be too. My fucking Don Hector is behind him, dude. <gasps> Don't drop it, motherfucker. Don't drop it, Nacho. Come on now. This is way too tense. I'm nervous. <laughs> this is way too tense. You can do it. You got it! Bing! Oh, smooth. Smooth. Good shit, Nacho. Fucking smooth. Okay, now it's just a matter of time, right? But he still has to, he still has to switch it back as soon as he takes the pill. He's gotta switch it back. Hey.
That's that's practice, baby. Ellen Iverson. It's supposed to be on the phone. I know, I know. She's sick. She called pneumonia at daycare. She's in the hospital. Please, can I go? Sure, you can go. But you're not getting credit. Come on, can't I just go and come right back? I have to get my hours done this week. Judge says so. Judge told you, huh? Sounds like that's on you. The funny thing is, is that there are a lot of bosses like that, too. That give absolutely no leeway whatsoever. I don't fuck with that, bro. 700 bucks and you're gone. No, I don't have 700 bucks. Hey, you got a couple grand in your sock. 700 bucks. You can get me out of here. I, you can do what you gotta do. Okay, what's the plan, Jimmy? How do you know he had a couple grand in his socks? The fuck? That was a good read. I'm only doing my job. And just for tickles, maybe I throw in failure to treat and mitigate damages suffered by me due to injuries sustained under your watch. Injury. My oh, bad. shit. You're full of shit. The waiver clearly oh, That waiver's gonna make Swiss cheese look solid. And in a personal lawsuit, it's a fart in the wind. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, Jimmy. That's how we need, we, we need to get him, get him back into the lawyer's suit, bro. But he's banned. Damn it. You're about to lose your job, your pension, whatever pinhole of a reputation you've got at the bowling alley on Globe All Sundays. Or let my friend here visit his sick daughter in the hospital. And you can let me rest my back on this sacred, now litter-free New Mexico soil. Oh, and we keep our hours. Damn. Well played. Well played. That's 700. I don't know spent. You go. I'm out. So 700 isn't a lot, but that must feel good. Well, he made 700 in like five minutes, which is amazing. But it's it's more about how he made that money. He made it because of you know shit that he knew, his knowledge. It must feel fucking great, you know. And he, and, and I mean, he must miss that because he was a good lawyer. He's a good lawyer. He just banned. <laughs> Fuck. I would not take money from your family. Wow. Yes. Yes. And so it begins. The fucking duo. Gus, the fucking entrepreneur, businessman, super precise, Kingpin, and Mike, the brawn, the hitman, the assassin, the the guy who can make really cool contra contraptions apparently, <laughs> and the OG, the most experienced. These two are such a good duo, and I can't fucking wait to see what they do in Better Call Saul, because I know that's just going to be fire. I can already see it, because it was fire in Breaking Bad. Ooh, I'm excited. Also, man, I, I, dude, you gotta respect Gus. He didn't even care about the money. He's not gonna take money from his family. He's a man of morals. Is he? Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, um, another dope episode. That was cool. So, <clears throat> we didn't see what uh, Jimmy's little fucking charade, um, the previous episode before this one. We didn't see what that was the result of. Um, but we are seeing Chuck get better. I am liking that. I'm actually respecting that a lot. He's actually going to the grocery store successfully without passing out, being around lights, being around cell phones, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right? So I do like how he's trying to get over it. It's fucking great. It's awesome. It's awesome. He even called the fucking doctor in his aluminum spacesuit. So good shit on you, Chuck. I really hope he does it, he doesn't get better off of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, dude, the Nacho Hector scene. I was, my palms were steady, my knees weak, my fucking voice was heavy. Holy shit, that shit was tense, bro. That shit was tense. I mean, um, <laughs> and he has to switch the pills back. Hector didn't even take the pills yet. He's got to switch them back after he takes the pills too. Uh, you know, so, and he has, he has to do it quick before the pills, you know, take effect, right? It probably take like 15, 30 minutes for the pills to take effect. He has that window to switch it back. Um, dude, that shit was tense. I mean, I'm glad I'm glad he swooshed it in there with a little fucking flick technique. Oh my god. Imagine if he missed. <laughs> that would have been a pop pop right there. 
Um, so, so yeah, Nacho's mission is successful. Now it's just a matter of time be before Hector takes the wrong pills. And I mean, let's see what happens to him. <clears throat> we can probably assume what happens to him. He becomes a vegetable. That's what he becomes in Breaking Bad. He can't talk anymore. He can, he can like function though. He can function on his own. Like, he can probably think on his own, but he straight up can't talk. So he takes massive brain damage, uh, apparently, with these pills. Um, but hey, it couldn't even be these pills that it, it, what, what does it to him. It could be something else, but it's probably the pills. I mean, let's be honest. So, but yeah, man, fire, fire, good season, good season. Uh, I can't wait to see how it caps off because we that we did just we did just watch episode eight, right? So we have two more episodes uh, to watch for the season. So um, yeah, but so far the uh, this season has been pretty damn good. Probably the best season so far, I'd say. Um, just because of that soul episode episode five season three that shit was fucking flames chuck's trial holy shit that was the best exposure i've ever seen off of any show or, t or anime right so awesome awesome anyway that's gonna be it for this reaction y'all before i end <clears throat> if you guys want early access to these reactions go ahead and click that join button down below okay if you want full reactions uh, go ahead on my Patreon. If you want, uh, check out my live streams. Right now, I'm playing God of War. It's fucking fire. Go and check out my Twitch channel. Give that a follow. And last but not least, you can you can subscribe to my second YouTube channel and join my Discord for our community. Okay? So, um, with that being said, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all for the next episode of Better Call Saul. All right? Peace.